What's up guys? Welcome to this exercise. This is Nestor Adriansen and today we're going to learn about the most important, useful and complex tax function in Power BI. Would you guys like to guess? Yes, it's the calculate function. Hey, before we get started, if you are new to this channel, please subscribe so you will be updated in Power BI. So here's the content. Today, we're going to learn four different points here. The first one is about the calculate function. The second one, we want to learn about the syntax. The third one, we're going to learn two different ways to use calculate in Power BI. And finally, if you are like me, you learn by doing. So we have a few cases where we're going to put everything in practice. OK, let's keep going. The calculate function. As I mentioned before, it's the most important, useful, and complex function in DAX. So the function itself is simple to learn, but it only performs a few tasks. Complexity comes from the fact that calculate is one of the functions in DAX that creates a new filter context. So there you guys have it. So let's keep going. Syntax. The calculate function has two different parts. The first one on the left, if you guys can see right here, is the expression. And of course, this is mandatory. And the second part is related to filters. And this part is optional. So here we have some definitions. For expression, it's the expression to be evaluated. For filters, a filter is basically a boolean or table expression that defines a filter and here we have more information about a boolean expression okay a boolean expression is a logical statement that is either true or false and we will see boolean expressions here in this tutorial as well okay let's go to the next slide two different ways to use calculate so on the left this is my favorite so remember, these two ways are basically the same. They will give you the same results, but I prefer using the way on the left because it helps me understand where I'm using filters. So as you can see right here, we have the calculate function here, we have the expression, and then we have the first filter, right? And then we also have the all function. And this is the table that we wanna filter, right? And basically, here we apply in the filter. And in this case, table column one, just for A, right? For this example. The way on the right is also very practical. You can use it as well. As I mentioned before, you can get the same results. And if you have more experience using Calculate, you might want to use the way on the right. So now let's go to the next slide. This is even more fun, right? cases, we're going to use everything that we have learned so far. And here we have three different items, right? So we're going to use, of course, the calculate function. And then the first question is calculate the total claim cost for the products delivered by UPS. The second question is calculate the total claims cost for the products delivered by UPS in the cities of Nashville, Phoenix, and Greenville. The third item, we want to calculate the total claim cost for the products delivered by UPS in the cities of Nashville, Phoenix, and Greenville, which claims were made between November 2012 and November 2018. And finally, we want to create a report with a final measure. So what do you guys think? This is going to be fun, right? So let's go to Power BI Desktop. So here we are. This is Power BI Desktop, and let's do it. So the first thing that we want to do is get data. I have an Excel document here that I'll be sharing with you guys as well. Excel, connect, claims data, open. And here we're going to select the first table. Then load. It's loading. Here on the right, under fields, we have the claim table, right? So we have all the information that we want to use for this exercise. And we can check our data here as well. Let's do it real quick. So we have ID, 
claim ID, claim date, delivery date, product claim, delivery company, claim cost, city, and state. This is just a general idea about data, okay? Let's go back to report and let's create our first measure. Right click, new measure, and then remember that they are asking us about a total claim cost, right? So we wanna create our first measure. So our first measure is gonna be total claim cost and we're gonna use the sum function. And right here, we wanna add every single row that is part of the claim cost column. Claim cost column, right here. We select it, tab, and then close parentheses, and then we apply this change. It's working fine. Let's double check right here. Let's drag this into this area, and let's see what happens. Boom, we have a number right there, okay? So it's working fine. So now let's go back to our presentation real quick. So the first question is calculate the total claim cost for the products delivered by UPS. Let's do it. So let's create another measure right here, new measure. And of course, we're gonna call this specific claim cost. And then right here, we're gonna use the famous DAX function, calculate tab to select, and then our first expression is gonna be the total claim cost, okay? We select this one right here, comma, and then we need to apply our first filter. Remember that we need to filter by UPS. Let's organize this a little bit better, okay? Click right here, I'll enter, goes to the next line, and right here, let's organize real quick. And then I'll enter, and right here, we're gonna use the filter function, okay? Remember that filter function is right here. We use tab to select filter, and then right here, I'll enter, and right here, let's move it right here. Right here, we're gonna select the all function, and we're gonna select the column that has UPS, and in this case, it's the delivery company, right? We select with tab, boom, and then, Close parenthesis and then comma, I'll enter and right here, tap right here again. And right here, we're gonna use the same column, which is delivery company. We use tap to select and this delivery company should be UPS, right? Remember, because this is text, we need to use quotation marks, UPS. So now let's press I'll enter go to the next line and right here we want to apply parentheses to close the filter I'll enter and right here we want to use another parentheses to close the calculate function so now let's double check that we are doing the right thing so we have the expression in this case this is the measure because we want to find the total claim cost we have the expression right there. And then we have our first filter, right? And then right here, we use the all function. And in this case, we are interested in delivery company, right? So that's why we have selected delivery company here. And then we apply the filter. And in this case, it's just UPS, all right? So now let's apply the changes. Seems like it's working fine. Now let's double check. Let's drag this into this area and let's make sure that it's working fine. It seems like it's working fine. So there you guys have it. So now let's go back to the presentation and go to the second question. So now we wanna find the total claim cost for a product delivered by UPS in the cities of Nashville, Phoenix, and Greenville. So we need to add another filter, right? So let's do it. All right, so let's go back to the same measure, and in this case, specific claim cost. And right here, so we wanna use another filter, comma again, I'll enter, we go to the next line, and right here, 
So now let's use our next filter. So right here. And now I'll enter. So we are basically using here the same strategy, okay? Now let's use all right here as well. All right there. And then, but in this case, we are interested in city. This is the column that we want to use here. All right, let's close parentheses and then comma. And right here, I'll enter the same strategy here. We use the same column, and in this case, city. And then equal. And in this case, we want to include Nashville, Phoenix, and Greenville. So this is something that is going to be very helpful for you guys. So do you guys remember about the logical functions? So we have or and we have n. So in this case, we want to use or because we want to have inclusive results, OK? So we want to have Nashville, we want to have Phoenix, and we want to have Greenville. Remember that the or function has two vertical lines. So let's do it right there. And then you see the right here again. And in this case, equal again, quotation marks, because this is text. And in this case, we're going to use Phoenix, right? Quotation mark again. We're going to keep using the logical or operator. OK. So again, two vertical lines real quick. Then same thing right here, claim city. And in this case, this should be quotation mark again, green bill, right? Quotation mark again, and we can even reorganize this a little bit better. So I'll enter. It's right there. And now we have the filter. We just apply the filter. And now I'll enter. And then let's close parentheses for this filter right there. And now let's close parentheses for the calculate function. I'll enter again and then close parentheses right here. So now let's apply the changes. Boom. It seems like it's working. Let's double check that. It's right there. It's working. It's working fine. That's perfect. So now let's go back to our presentation real quick. The third question here is to use the calculate function to find the total clean cost for the products delivered by UPS in the cities of Nashville, Phoenix, and Greenville, which claims were made between November 2012 and November 2018. Let's do it. So let's keep using the same measure here and let's keep making the changes. So let's apply another filter. Let's delete this one right here and let's apply another filter. Remember that we need to add right here, comma. I'll enter and then right here, we wanna apply another filter, right? I'll enter, we're gonna use the all function. And then in this case, we're gonna use the claim date. It's right there, double click, we close parentheses and then comma. I'll enter. Remember here that we need to apply the filter, right? It's going to be the same claim date. Should be greater than date. We have to use date right here. 2012, comma, November, comma, first, close parentheses. And then right here, we also want to use the other condition, right? So we want to use the end logical operator right here which is this one right here. And then claim date again. And this should be less than same thing right here, date 2018, comma, November, comma, and then close parentheses. And we can even reorganize this a little bit better. Right here, I'll enter. And right here, we reorganize this. And let's apply right here. I'll enter and right here. Let's close parentheses for the last filter. I'll enter and let's close parentheses for the calculate function. 
it's right there and then we apply the changes all right it seems like it's working and let's double check that right here yes it's working so that's perfect let's double check these numbers okay we have twenty thousand and seven hundred dollars here right in total we can even add right here data labels so in that way we can see what's going on in here so let's double check because we want to make sure that we're doing the right thing let's go to our excel document and let's apply the filters manually and we should get the same results right so here we have the claims data don't worry i'm going to share with you guys this file as well so we want to find the claim cost it's right here for the delivery company should be ups right let's do that right here let's apply a filter just for ups right there and then what else remember the cities yes the cities were nashville phoenix and Greenville. hit okay now remember the date filter for claim date so let's apply the filter right here it's between right after 2012 november 1st and then less than right before 2018 november 1st and then let's apply the changes so these are the filters that we just applied manually and these results should match to what we have in Power BI. Let's see. Let's apply some right here. We have 20,700. Let's go back to Power BI Desktop. Same number, 20,700. It's working, guys. Now let's go back to our presentation. And finally, we need to create a report with a final measure. So let's do it. So we don't care about this one right here, total claim cost. So And we have right here the final measure, right? So now let's create our first chart. Let's add to this measure right here. Claim date, it's right here. It looks cool, right? And now let's add state as well. Boom. So here we have information from 2012 to 2018. So there you guys have the first chart. And let's create, let's make this a little bit bigger. And now let's create our second chart. So let's duplicate this real quick. Control C, Control V. And let's make this a little bit smaller. It's right there. And now let's remove every single filter with the exception of the measure. So now let's apply right here, product claim. It's right there. It looks better. And now let's apply state. Looks nice. Perfect. And we can use a different type of chart right here. We can also add right here slicer. It's right there. And then we can drag here state. And then we can play with this, right? We can use just for Tennessee because we know that Nashville is in Tennessee. If you want to have multiple selection, you can use control hold down control and keep selecting right so let's say right here arizona boom south carolina boom and then let's say just for south carolina and arizona hold down controlling select arizona boom there you guys have it we have learned about the most important function in dax the calculate function let's go back to our presentation that's it guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, if so, please give me a thumbs up, share with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe, because you don't want to miss anything. See you guys in the next tutorial.